Only on CBS This Morning, we are breaking the story of a milestone in medical research. Every five seconds, someone in this country suffers a traumatic brain injury. A third of those cases will be severe enough to cause a coma. Doctors often tell families to constantly talk to their loved ones, even if they're unconscious. But the question always remains, can they hear? Well, for the first time, science may have an answer. The findings are being released right now simultaneously with our report from Ben Tracy. <laughs> Four years ago, Godfrey Katniss had his hands full. He was a new dad and an inspirational youth pastor in Southern California. It has to be devotion to God when things are going badly and really badly. He led groups of volunteers who helped rebuild after Hurricane Katrina and traveled to the Philippines on a charity mission. But then a blood clot in his liver sent the 32-year-old and his wife Corinth rushing to the hospital. He had three and a half feet of intestine taken out, and then he had a brain hemorrhage that um, required a nine-hour surgery. A medically induced coma saved his life, but doctors feared Godfrey would never wake up. So the sedatives wear off, and they tell you he's still comatose? Yes, yeah. What was your first thought? It's devastating. De devastating. Um, this is the person that I love most in the, this world. This is... My kid's father just completely devastated. Corinth never lost hope and talked to her husband constantly. So when you would go into his room and talk to him, what would you say? I would tell him he needs to get out of his coma. Um, just prayed, read to him, told him how his daughter was doing and how I was doing. I was pregnant with our second daughter at the same time. Something as simple as telling stories can help heal. Neuroscientist Teresa Pape believes in the healing power of voices. In a groundbreaking Northwestern Medicine in Heinz VA Hospital clinical study, Pape performed brain scans on 15 coma patients, including Godfrey Katniss. When patients heard unfamiliar voices, brain scans showed little activity. But when they heard close relatives calling out their names or talking, the scans lit up. A very severely injured brain can be worked with and it can be rehabilitated. Pape's team also asked the families to record stories loved ones would recognize and play them repeatedly for a month and a half using headphones. The stories were played for eight of the patients, including Godfrey. The other seven only heard silence. The eight patients that heard the stories recovered significantly faster. Just like doing jumping jacks over and over again, we think we're exercising those connections in the brain and we think that that's helping us see the recovery of awareness. We have an interesting story regarding our first kiss. Don't Corinne's recording all, was about a promise kept on their wedding day. And then I told you how I made a commitment that I wanted to save the first kiss for the altar on my wedding day. Was there any response from him while he was hearing these stories? Through that six weeks, we did find, uh, see a big change. He came from a point where there was just nothing to a point where he could communicate through eye gazes, nod his head. <laughs> After three months, Godfrey came out of his coma, severely disabled, but cognitively intact. He preached from Hebrew 6. He writes devotionals for his church with his iPad, which also helps him communicate. Do you remember hearing these stories while you were in the coma? Mm -hmm. Yes. What did it mean to you to hear those voices. I thought it was kind of comforting to think that they were there with me. It was comforting that they were there with you. I understand that we're on a long journey, but at least we're doing this journey together. Don't assume that just because they cannot speak or they don't open their eyes that so they're not you. there. For CBS This Morning, Ben Tracy, Irvine, California. <laughs> And that Northwestern Medicine Heinz VA study is out today in the journal Neural Rehabilitation and Neural Repair. Well, you see, story. it is. You see, he still has a ways to go, but it's so encouraging to know that this is possible. Never so, give up. Makes mm -hmm. a lot of sense.